I remember I was five, I would like going to the beach with my dad. You know, there'd be like surf wax that had been worn by the sun and the sand that somebody had left or forgotten, and I'd start molding that. Yeah, I think the art of sculpting is definitely, for me, evolving or continuing to evolve and progress. The kind of enjoyable challenge of representing surfing and sculptural form is, you know, you're looking to convey movement and balance and all in this stillness that represents motion. But yeah, it has to be true to, to form. You know, these are going to some of the best surfers in the world. Uh, in the beginning, I'll warm or melt the beeswax to pliable state and form it to the general gesture. And then uh, from there, I'll heat the, the tools using a, a small torch and the metal tools become hot and that melts the beeswax in the area that I'm working and it cools. Basically, you're gonna wanna dissect your sculpture into pieces that allow for the pouring of the wax and being able to take the mold apart without uh, damaging the product. Once you get to the point where you have the wax multiples and after they're all cleaned up, you make a ceramic high heat uh, resistant mold around each of those wax pieces. From, from there, you can take those out and pour the bronze into that space where the wax used to be. Once the metal is hard, you can remove the ceramic mold. Then you have the, the bronze pieces and start welding the pieces together and then using the Dremel and to uh, uh, finesse the metal and the detail and all the welding points need to be re-sculpted on each of the pieces. After it's all welded together and cleaned up and then you're ready to take it to the patina phase where you expose the metal to heat and or different minerals and chemicals that uh, Actually, the metal oxidizes in particular ways in order and changes, changes color. Yeah, there's definitely a feeling that comes with all that work coming to the point where it's done and letting it go. It must be similar to how a mother feels when her kid goes off to school. Have that empty, funny feeling where you sort of miss them, you know.